In the papers today, MPs suggest that the millions of thrifty pensioners who have had their retirement plans shattered by the Bank of England quantitative easing should receive compensation. This was on the front page of the Daily Mail and the Daily Telegraph also picked up on this theme on their front page with the headline, Time to Reward Elderly, Says MPs. The view is that quantitative easing is simply redistributing money from savers to borrowers and calls for Osborne in his autumn budget speech to help cushion the blow. All the nationals cover the inflation figures as the CPI rose from 3.4% in February to 3.5% in March, with much of this increase down to rising food, clothes and fuel costs as the high street price war falters. This increase does apparently call into question the accuracy of forecasts as following five months of falling inflation, this increase came as a bit of a shock and scuffers the Bank of England projection that consumer prices would fall below its official target by the end of the year. Older people were in the news again as it has been revealed in the Daily Mail that women are 40% li more likely to go into care homes than men. The academic study highlighted the fact that it is not because men don't care, but rather because they are too frail or actually they are no longer alive. The care theme was picked up by The Independent, who also touched on the topic as they suggested that thousands face reduction in their support as a crisis in care of the elderly as, one point, as, as a billion pounds worth of cuts bite. This is something that will be picked up later in the year when we look at the Social Care Reform Bill.